All right, so here he is, a man who needs no introduction, the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, heavyweight contender, Alistair Overeem. Kind of surprised you haven't shared the octagon with this guy yet. Yes, we have seen Alistair Overeem for a really long time. We've seen the ups, we've seen the downs. From the highest of highs as the strike force heavyweight champ to the lowest of lows, he's been here and he's been around forever. But the one thing that you know when you think about Alistair Overeem is that when things get tough, he will evolve. He will get better. And recently, he has been back on the upswing in his career. How about the presence of Alistair Over? has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. With much fanfare, here he is, Michael Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel, the black shorts, and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we look up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. The baddest man on the planet, Mike Tyson has graced the octagon, he's ready to go. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> inside the octagon. Good. All right, Mike Tyson and Alistair Overeem are underway, and this is why the UFC is number one in combat sports. They put on the fights that fans want to see, and a lot of fans are wondering if Mike Tyson's power will be enough against the well-versed, all-limbs-coming game of Alistair Overeem. Yeah, Alistair Overeem has every tool. He can punch you, he can knee you, he can elbow, he can kick you. But he's never been in there with a guy that possesses this type of power. Mike Tyson with four ounce gloves. You don't really stand after you take a hit. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. 
Ball working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by the Ream. The ground strike starting to pile up. Oh, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Nicely done. Two minutes to go in round one. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by the ring. In the half guard. One, and now you start to see some swell in the pool. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you Very clean with his hooks on the feet here tonight, and it's the way he set it up that has really impressed you. Yeah, it's very impressive to see him pop the jab, pop the right hand, just press. Oh, oh he got him again. Five minutes in the books. All right, so that round is in the books. Tyson's eye. Starting to look pretty bad. He absorbed a lot of damage over those five minutes. We'll see if the cut man can do anything about that. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Second round here. Oh, big body kick. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Big shot to the body. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Look at the control of the posture as he lands that hit. Nice strike. Nice right hand. Big knee lands there. And oh! Back to the feet now. Oh! Oh, both of them are landing massive shots. This is a crazy high pace. Oh, that will be a headache in the morning. Massive uppercut. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't wait. You don't get him as often as you'd like. So get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, single collar tie now. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. It got checked. Nice shot there by the champ. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.
Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alistair.